Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another video and today I have a really, 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 really cool unboxing. It's related to the softball content on my channel um, and it is a really, really awesome custom glove that I had made by Rox Customs. Uh, if you guys are interested in this glove or any other type of glove, I'll drop a link down to their Facebook. You're going to be able to meet uh, all the different reps and rock and kind of design your own custom glove and stuff like that. He also sells stock gloves, so if there's something uh, you don't want to necessarily put your name on or make custom, you can just buy a stock one. But yeah, we have our box right here. I'm super, super excited to open this up. Um, I actually have two things. I, to I totally almost forgot about one of them. So one of them is uh, these batting gloves because I did that video earlier where I did uh, the Bruce Bolt batting gloves. And those are like $90 batting gloves. And I really don't want to mess those up, even though they're supposed to be super durable. Um, I've been using my Nike batting gloves and they're completely falling apart. Uh, so he also makes batting gloves and they were only like 25 bucks. And they're kind of the same style as the Bruce Bolt ones. So... I figured, you know, why not for 25 bucks, just throw it in there as well. So let's go ahead and see what we get in here first. Uh, so first, it does look like we have these batting gloves. Um, and then here we go. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Check this out. So we'll get into this, but let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check out this uh, batting glove situation first. So these batting gloves are pretty clean. They're just pretty simple, uh, just white and gold. It has the Rocks Customs uh, logo right here in this like gold foil material. And the reason I got these is because they wrap around uh, kind of similar to the way that the Bruce Bolt gloves do. So when you throw these on, let's go ahead and see how the leather feels and stuff like that. So leather feels pretty nice. It's not as like a uh, crazy quality as those Bruce Bolt ones. But like I said, these are 25 bucks and the other ones are 90 bucks. These I would say... Honestly, I can't really tell the difference between these and my Nike batting gloves, and those are like 40 bucks. Uh, so saving me money, and then also getting this different design here, because it's it just wraps around like that, kind of like how the Bruce Bolts do. Uh, so I think that's really cool. And for 25 bucks, I really couldn't pass that up. So really nice batting gloves, but the thing I'm most excited for here is this glove. As you can see, it has my name on the side. Let's go ahead and uh, get it out of this plastic wrap. So yeah, the glove, I I don't even know where to start, man. This glove is amazing. But I guess to begin in everything, I'm sure everybody wants to know the price, right? So I was looking for a brand new glove for slow pitch softball season, which is coming up. I wanted something around a 12 and three quarters or a 13. My current glove is 12 and three quarters and I would prefer a 13. Uh, so I was looking around trying to figure out pricing and stuff like that. I, I stumbled upon 44. Uh, I found a bunch of different other ones. I even looked at Rawlings. Rawlings has their own custom one. Uh, and they were all pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. And with this one, it popped up on Facebook. I guess you know how Facebook is, right? You you start talking to your friends about something. You start looking up stuff on Google. And all of a sudden, Facebook knows exactly what you want. So Facebook brought me to this page called Rocks Custom Gloves. And I figured, you know, might as well give it a look. I'm looking at everything else anyway. And I saw this and I was like, wow, uh, the comic book nerd in me just kind of freaked out and thought, you know, uh, an infinity gauntlet glove. That's amazing. I need to have one. And I also assumed that was going to be pretty expensive. So I went ahead and messaged rock and said, Hey, you know, how much would it be to get a custom one? Cause you did have stock ones of this in different colors, but I wanted a gold and bone one, which is the color where I have here. And I also wanted my name on the side here. So I asked, you know, how much would it be to get my name on one of these? And I don't know if prices change or how the pricing goes or, like, you know, how materials are these days. But for this glove here, this Infinity Gauntlet with my name on it, $175 shipped. I, I couldn't believe it. It was an amazing deal. And I went ahead and said, you know what? All right, let's go ahead and do it. I didn't think twice about it, which I kind of thought about later. Like, hey, I didn't even, you know, uh, make sure I got all my right details to them and stuff like that. I went ahead and just got it. Uh, what I did change about this glove is these laces here are bone. I just went all bone. I didn't want black laces because the stock one he had had black laces. Um, I kept the Rocks Customs logo, just black. I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, I was asking him if he thought it would be good gold or black, and he said to keep it black. Uh, I wasn't sure about my name on there. I didn't know how that was going to work because he said there really wouldn't be enough room. He was saying maybe here in the hand stall they could put it, but instead it says made in Mexico. So before he shipped it, I asked him, hey, were you guys able to get my name on there? Just wondering if not, it's cool. Uh, but he said that they were able to actually put it on the side like I actually wanted. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was able to choose the web I wanted. I wanted an H-Web uh, because I've pretty much been using an H-Web for softball. And I think it's a pretty good web for it. I didn't want to do just the all closed off. I actually like to have like a window through it. So I went with that and I'm absolutely 100% happy and satisfied with this. 
they even did this extra lacing here, uh, which I think is a little bit better for baseball gloves um, because, you know, when it gets loose and sometimes the ball will go through, um, I don't think a softball is going to fit through there, but it is nice to have. And that just means that, you know, it's going to hold up a little bit longer. If something's to happen here on the top, we still have this uh, lacing here down below. So we talked about price. Now let's talk about quality. How is the glove? Because that's what really matters, right? You get a really good deal, 175 bucks. What are you compromising on? Well, uh, their website says that they're using 100% steer leather and heart of the hide. So I automatically assume this is going to be close to what a Rawlings heart of the hide is going to be. So pretty much around the same price as a Rawlings heart of the hide. Um, it's not the Rawlings name brand. So, you know, you may be thinking, you know, well, is it going to be better quality or is it for that? Because of that, you just go to Academy, Dick Sporting Goods. I will say I have never felt a heart of the hide that is this hard to close. I cannot close this. This is something that was a lot more similar to my Pro Preferred. I don't know exactly what leather they use on the Pro Preferred, if it's still hard of the hide. Uh, but this leather, so much more thick than what my heart of the hide is. If I mean, I, I really don't know what the difference is. Uh, I don't really know all about leather and stuff like that. It is hard of the hide leather, but it's just, this thing is a rock, man. Look at that. I can barely get that thing close with two hands. This thing, I feel is going to be amazing when I'm able to break this in. I have my little glove mallet uh, from Jaw Bats. Just breaking it in, creating that pocket. This thing's going to be nice and stiff the way I do like to have my gloves. I think this is going to be amazing. So yeah, here on the inside, it does say MVP Pro Glove and 100% uh, Pro Leather. So I wasn't 100% sure what 100% Pro Leather was. So I went ahead and looked on their Facebook and that's where I saw that it says all their gloves are 100% steer hide leather and that is heart of the hide leather. So I think, you know, that's pretty much on par with any other baseball glove out there. I would say like this is the most comparable to the gloves that I've had in the past to the Pro Preferred. Uh, the A2000, my heart of the hide, they were a lot more soft when I got them. They were a lot more, you know, pliable. I was able to form them within like a few hours, I would want to say. I would not say it was exactly game ready, uh, but it was a lot more than where I'm going to get with this. This thing is super hard and i know i'm gonna have to take a beating with this to it but super super excited i went like i said i went all bone bone leather bone laces everything looks great in my opinion i have my web gem uh, glove care system which i have my current glove in i'll pull that out to kind of show you guys what i'm talking about here uh so we're gonna get that flare on there with this yeah this is what i'm currently using a rawlings heart of the hide mesh back and as you can see it's it's pretty loose already not that that's a bad thing I think it's a really good glove. The leather's really nice, but in comparing them, it's it's not even it's not even close. If I'm being quite honest, this one just feels a lot heavier. Granted, this is a mesh back, uh, but like the leather quality. Let me see if I would even get a good shot of that. You can kind of see that it's just a lot thicker. I think this glove is you know really gonna last a while. I don't know how this uh, gold material is gonna last. This python, the gold python uh, above. Let's see, above the red, you can kind of see that it's flaking off a little bit here. It's not affecting like the durability, it's just like the paint of it really. Um, but I don't know how that's gonna how that's gonna last, like especially if I'm playing infield and this is rubbing on the sand and stuff like that. I don't know if that's gonna last too long. But I will say I'm probably gonna get another glove from Rocks Customs just because this thing is super, super nice. I may do like a really crazy color, just like an all one solid color or a tie-dye. They have so many different options. I may do something else just to kind of, you know, preserve this one because I think it is something that's really, truly like something that I like. I really do like this kind of stuff, you know, like comic book stuff, and then they mix it up with baseball. Uh, I kind of want to put this on display and not really use it as much, but I do want to use it still, you know? So I think once I get a new one, I'll put this one on the shelf back there, have it to kind of just admire and stuff like that. But this glove is super, super nice. Uh, if I had to describe what this, this back part I would think that it's kind of similar to 44's obsidian material, kind of like a uh, not leather, not plastic. I don't even know what you would call it, but kind of similar to that. Like when you see these gloves that are saying they're using Python and stuff like that, I would assume that this is the same material they're using. They don't have like a glove builder like 44 or Rawlings does where you can go in and design exactly how you want it. Uh, what you got to do is get in, get in contact with a rep, get in contact with Rock, let them know exactly what you're looking for. My thing, what I did is I pretty much went through their whole Facebook page, saw the pictures that people were posting, uh, saw this glove, it had black laces, and I said, hey, I really wanna get something like that uh, with bone laces and then get my name on the side. 
and they said yeah no problem we can do that so uh i don't really know what their limitations are if there are any i've seen some crazy things that they have they have tie-dye uh they have like paint splatter they have all these different things going on which i think is really cool they even have a new camo one which i think is really nice so I'm probably gonna get another one later on, especially if this video does well, I may be looking to get a few more uh, because baseball is one of my favorite things in the world and just to collect baseball gloves, I think would be really, really nice. I do have a pretty small collection right now, like five or six gloves, uh, but if I can get these custom ones and start doing reviews for you guys, if you guys like this kind of stuff, I definitely would be open to doing that. Uh, Cause like I said, these are pretty affordable and it's really, really nice to get it exactly the way you want it. But yeah, like I said, I will leave a link down below to Rock's Facebook page for the Rock's Customs Gloves. If you guys want to get one, hit them up. Like I said, this one was only $175. I thought this was a really, really great deal. And there's so many other things you can do. If you don't want something uh, like this that's really, really flashy, you can do something that's, you know, a little bit more subtle. Uh, you can customize it in any way you want. You can put your school logo on there. You can put your team logo on there. You can do pretty much virtually anything you want, which I think is really, really cool. Um, I really, like I said, I just wanted exactly how it was Infinity Gauntlet and I put my name on it because I like to put that on my gloves. So that's pretty much all I did on this one. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I just wanted to show you guys my brand new glove that came in. Uh, like I said, 175 for a custom glove. You can pretty much do whatever you want, go crazy with it. I just wanted this Infinity Gauntlet design with my name on it. I think it's perfect. I wouldn't change anything about this glove. Uh, and like I said, I'm probably going to do some more. So if you guys want to see something crazy, drop some suggestions down below. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys my new glove I got. I think it's super sick. Uh, the nerd in me is freaking happy that I have this Infinity Gauntlet softball glove. I think it's so dope. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I will leave that link down below to Rock's Facebook page. Let him know Ryan sent you if you guys are interested in getting something like this or want to design something completely on your own. I mean, the, the options are limitless. That is it. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time.